I just got back from a two week trip to Andalusia where we visited Seville, Cordoba, Granada and Malaga and I'm pleased to say I didn't get sick once. All of the food was fantastic, I didn't have a single bad gluten free meal the entire time we were there. So starting with Seville, here's a quick rundown of all of the gluten free food I had when I was there. Our alfalfa was such a great start to our holiday. They serve the most amazing tapas. We had some seafood paella, some cured meats with cheese, aubergines. It was just all amazing. They even had gluten-free bread. Bar Alfalfa is a really small place with a small kitchen. It's not 100% gluten-free, but the staff are very clued up about celiac disease and cross-contamination. They were extremely accommodating, making sure to change the utensils, changing the pans, all to minimize cross-contamination as much as possible. We just so happened to stumble upon Torres y Gracia on our walk around Seville. It looked really nice, so we just went in and asked if they did gluten-free food. Not only did they have gluten-free options, but the staff were extremely clued up about celiac disease. This restaurant won a Michelin star back in 2021, so the food turned out to be incredible. I highly recommend trying the sea bass. If you do go here, it was delicious. Okay, just take a look at this pizza. Have you ever seen a gluten-free pizza look this good before? Neither had I until I went to Grosso Neapolitano. This is the best gluten-free pizza I have ever had in my life and probably ever will have unless I go back to Seville. This is the closest you are going to get to a true Neapolitan style pizza made fresh. No pre-made dough in this place. Most of the menu at Lovo Lopez could be adapted to be gluten-free. We came to this restaurant because it was one of the only ones we could find near us that had gluten-free food and was open during the siesta. We'd only been there three days, we hadn't got onto the Spanish timetable just yet. It's a good one to have on your radar, but I wouldn't say it's a must-try. I had the shrimp risotto, the tomato sauce was really nice, but the rice was on the undercooked side for me. It wasn't bad, it's just that I'd had better food. Abba de Sevilla is an excellent breakfast spot with good knowledge of celiac disease. The tortillas are absolutely incredible and I had the best gluten-free packaged bread I've ever had. Yes, I did ask the waiter three times if she was sure that the bread was gluten-free. It just tasted too good to be true. Eventually, she did bring the package out to show me that it was in fact gluten-free. El Beso Gastro had a few gluten-free options on their menu. I had the steak with potatoes, which were cooked really nicely, and the padron peppers were delicious. There's not really much more to say about it, it was steak and potatoes, but there are better places you can eat. But overall, not a bad meal at all, and the staff were very clued up about celiac disease. And lastly for Seville, if you were looking for an ice cream place that has gluten-free corns and looks after celiacs, Amarino is the place for you. Throughout my trip, I tried the coconut, pistachio, caramel, and they were all superb. Now we're heading over to Cordoba. We didn't actually eat out as much in Cordoba as we did in Seville, but that's because my number one rule when booking travel with celiac disease is to book self-catering accommodation. This doesn't just give you a backup option in case you can't find anything to eat, which wasn't the case for us in Cordoba, by the way, but it also gives you the option to try some of the local fresh produce, which is something we wanted to do. And trust me, you're gonna want to try the local fresh produce in Andalusia. We did still eat out a few times during our four night stay there, so here's all the gluten-free food I ate in Cordoba. There are orange trees everywhere in Andalusia. So one thing you'll notice on the restaurant menus is they will have some sort of orange option, whether it's in their mains or desserts. The most interesting dish I tried at Bodega Mesquita was the cod with orange and olive oil. I know, I wasn't sure about it myself either, but it turned out to be really refreshing and light and it was actually really beautiful. My favourite dish though had to be the cod with ratatouille. It was incredible, I enjoyed it so much I went back on the last night just to have it again. The staff are clued up on celiac disease and cross-contamination and knew exactly which dishes could be made gluten-free. This is a great way to try authentic Cordoban food. <laughs> If you only try one restaurant on this Cordoba list, let it be this one. This place is celiac heaven. Sociedad Plateros serves authentic Cordoban food to celiacs. It's not a 100% gluten-free restaurant, but their knowledge of celiac disease is outstanding. I really felt like I was in safe hands. We ordered pretty much every authentic meal we possibly could, and every single dish we had looked, smelled, and tasted amazing. This is top quality food. People with allergies are given a plate with a blue ring around it, so that it's clear to the server 
who on the table has the allergy or celiac disease. They even have homemade gluten-free bread, which tasted better than anything I've ever had. We stumbled upon this lovely cafe on our walk not far from where we were staying. We asked if they did gluten-free food and guess what? They had some gluten-free options. When we told them I had celiac disease, they said, no problema. And then I ended up having the best taco I've ever had. The beef was so juicy, it melted in my mouth, and the avocado and sauces were just divine. It was so good. And this was just a cafe we stumbled upon in a side street. Spain knows how to do food. Before we move on to Granada, I want to quickly show you a fantastic tool that I used to help me navigate my way around Andalusia. Eating out with celiac disease can be really tricky and it can be even trickier when you're traveling. So when Atlee got in touch and asked if I'd partner on their gluten-free eats map, I was in. They currently have over 30,000 restaurants mapped out worldwide and it's growing every single day. Thanks to their new celiac safety features, we can now find safe gluten-free restaurants in a matter of minutes. You can even have it track your location so you can find the gluten-free restaurant that's closest to you and you can even make custom maps for traveling too. When I tell you this map was a game changer for me in Spain, I'm not kidding. If you're interested in starting your seven day free trial, there will be a link in the description for you. Okay, back to the video. And now we're in Granada, where we ate at a couple of 100% gluten-free restaurants accredited by the Spanish Celiac Association. And they were good. The Carmela restaurants are a chain. They have a few dotted around Granada and they're all celiac safe. This particular one, La Picola Carmela, is not 100% gluten-free, but they do take allergies very seriously. The first thing they do when you sit down is ask if anyone has any allergies. And if you do, they change the cutlery that's been on the table. They make notes for the chef, etc., etc. They know what they're doing. I had the spaghetti carbonara, which was pretty decent to be fair. If you do feel more comfortable eating at a 100% gluten-free restaurant, they do have a chain called La Nona, which is fully gluten-free. Aparicios was the highlight of Granada for me. We ordered a lot of food, but I wanted to try as many authentic dishes as I could because I could and it was 100% gluten-free. The croquetas, the pastel, Spanish French toast, oh my god, it was so good. This, by the way, is one of the only 100% gluten-free restaurants that I have truly enjoyed the entire experience. It was not overpriced, the food was locally sourced, and you could tell a lot of care and effort had gone into everything they were doing. El Piano is a 100% gluten-free and vegan restaurant. And this is the first time I've been to a restaurant where I felt like they did both really, really well. We ordered croquetas, paella, aubergine. It was a nice change of pace from all the meats that we've been having. And it was refreshing to see a restaurant take natural, fresh ingredients and make very simple but delicious dishes out of them. We thoroughly enjoyed the food at El Piano. Lastly, for Granada, we found another gelato place that did gluten-free cones and they took celiac disease and cross-contamination very seriously. I had the pistachio ice cream. I highly recommend it. Our final stop on our two-week trip to Andalusia was in Malaga. So far, I'd already had the best gluten-free pizza in Seville. I'd had the best Cordoban food in, you guessed it, Cordoba. And we ate at the best 100% gluten-free restaurant in Granada. I didn't think it was going to get any better than this, but it did. So here in the UK, for some reason, sushi is just one of those things you can't find gluten-free. So when I saw that Telfair Acto did gluten-free sushi, I was a little bit skeptical at first. But not only did they make gluten-free sushi, but they had gluten-free soy sauce and it was the best sushi I've ever had in my life. The staff here are incredibly friendly and so welcoming. They go above and beyond to make sure that your questions and concerns are answered. I was a little bit worried that the soy sauce wasn't gluten-free and to reassure me, they took me to the kitchen to see the bottle of soy sauce so that I could see for myself that it was gluten-free. Okay, here's where it gets even better. I went to an Italian restaurant and had gluten-free ravioli. Now you might be thinking, well, what's the big deal? But I have been celiac for eight years. I have never had gluten-free ravioli. And yes, I was paranoid that they'd made a mistake. And I did ask the waiter five times if he sure that the ravioli was gluten-free. The food at Bresca is top quality. I had the spinach and ricotta ravioli with a mushroom and truffle sauce, which was made with real truffles, by the way, none of the fake crap we get here in the UK. And I had cheesecake for afters, which I forgot to record. 
went to Picasso Bar for some lunchtime tapas and I'm really glad we came here. Crawford was our waiter and he was incredibly accommodating and friendly. I'm always a little bit skeptical of restaurants in really busy touristy areas, especially in town squares, because I'm a little bit worried they're just trying to get you in the door and sit you down and feed you anything. But that wasn't the case here and Crawford told us exactly what was gluten free on the menu and he told us they have a separate gluten free fryer for celiacs. We loved our experience here, I can't recommend this place enough and all of the tapas tasted so good. La Casa del Perro is a family run business. They are passionate about serving the most amazing traditional Andalusian food. All of the menu was gluten free apart from the bread. The menu does change often though, so it's always best to check what's gluten free. The highlight for me had to be the sausages in the saffron sauce. It was incredible. But honestly, all of the food was so good. The pickled leeks with dry tuna, the shrimps. This was our final meal in Malaga and what a perfect way to end a perfect holiday. I can't wait to go back to this place next time we visit Malaga. And that concludes our two week trip in Andalusia. If you've ever been, let me know in the comments and let me know what your favourite gluten free restaurant was.